a little update on where I'm at with the project. I added these support um, angle iron right here on both sides threw some red, threaded rod between them and uh, that helped bring the front of the gearbox together to square off the gearbox. Some of you may remember that that was the last piece left. Um, I also added that at the bottom, the threaded rod. So now the gearbox all the way around is 11 and 3 eighths square in width. And uh, we're in pretty good shape there. I may have mentioned that I added a chain tensioner here, but I got some more work to do there. I added a spring on that. So the spring is going to come up you know, and uh, tighten that up. So I'm not done with that yet. Um, I temporarily ran the chain up to the top here of the wheel the winding wheel, what they would call a winding barrel in the old days. We're just using a bicycle wheel to do that for now. And uh, that was so I could uh, know for sure where to put this uh, angle iron and make sure it didn't interfere with the chain. So that turned out pretty good. I also replaced the little sprocket that used to be there. That was that one right there. Okay, replaced it with that one, which is the same size as the one next to it, so they're both 98. As I mentioned before, um, doing the, the, the physics math was revealing that the little 34 tooth sprocket wasn't going to generate enough torque to turn the PMA by the time I got to this last axle here. So uh, ran the math and the 98 should get it done. It's going to be kind of close, but uh, we'll see how it works out. And as I mentioned before, we're going to go with a bigger wheel than that eventually, but for testing we're, we're trying to get this baby set up so that we can at least run some numbers. So just want to give a quick update. Uh, things are coming along pretty good here. Um, so I did a lot of work yesterday, and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to get to more of that either today or later on this week, whatever. But uh, so there you go. Um, what's coming up? Well, uh, now that I have the the gearbox all squared up, um, I need to align. Make sure all the sprockets are aligned with their little guy sprockets, which they're just a little off right now since I've been monkeying around the gearbox. So get all those lined up um, and once I'm done with that I'm gonna show off this chain tensioner and I have to put just this chain tensioner back on for that chain it's, as you can see is uh, temporarily been off taken off and then I'm gonna hook up the bottom of the gearbox we're gonna run some threaded rod from uh, from right off of this angle iron through the threaded uh, thread rod through those two posts and over to that angle iron that's as you can see is attached and then we can attach the bottom of the gearbox um, maybe to that post then we're definitely going to attach this thread rod um, and secure it up to the to the weight support system so we have a nice firm so solid foundation what we don't want is the gearbox moving around under load so we've got to connect the gearbox to this entire structure just to make sure it doesn't uh, move forward or backwards and also doesn't lift up. So, so that's pretty good. Um, we'll just see what happens here. So far so good. Hey, there you go guys. As always, thank you for hanging with me. Later.